Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Marley coffee, and in particular, we're gonna talk about their Lively Up Roast. This is a dark roast single serve cup. I am super, super excited to be putting this coffee to the test. I grew up loving Bob Marley. I was a huge fan of his music, absolutely loved it. So I'm so, so excited to be putting the Marley coffee to the test in this video. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box. Quick unboxing, we're gonna take a look at those single serve cups. After that, I'm gonna throw those bad boys over to the K-Mini and brew up a nice hot cup of coffee. Then I'm gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee and this one, I think it's gonna put me in a good mood. Then we're gonna figure out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people, it does happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So you got this Lion Right Chair. You got Marley Coffee. This is Bob Marley's uh, relative of some sort, I'm pretty sure. And that is his lion, which is also funny because it looks very similar to the lion from all of the movies that I've watched growing up. Lively up, people. Lively up. Oh, I love that song. Dark Road, Bold chocolate notes subtle citrus wow that is very interesting that makes me want to try this so so bad and then you have it in another language this is fair trade of course all right let's check the okay these are on the small side wow okay 0.39 so typically k cups run between 0.3 and 0.48 now typically you see lower um lower k cups on a um wow so that's on the lower end very interesting okay all right so these are reusable k cups very very cool very bold and <laughs> they really want you to recycle this all right yes or what you can do is pour those grounds actually into some evergreen bushes or evergreen trees because this is phenomenal for the soil around your evergreen uh bushes or trees so Sometimes you do not have to pour that. Yeah. Oh, compost. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Let's check the fresh by date. We are good to go, people. Here is a little bit more about this lively up. Very nice. Yes. Here we go. Yeah. So this is a Marley right here. Very, very cool. Absolutely love his music. Not this guy the Bob I love the Bob Bob Marley all right take a look around here yes eight fluid ounces that is what I do always and forever I don't know why I just said it that way okay very very cool all right this box feels very very interesting it's not like a typical box because normally k cups are all moving around this feels like they're finally packed in here so i'm really really excited to crack this open and also i'm noticing there's a little cut out there cut out there and cut out here wow typically it's just straight across and you pull it from one end and rip it across but they're making it that is very very interesting I already applaud them and I haven't even cracked this open yet. All right, I'm gonna start here and see if the carpet matches the drapes. All right, so we're gonna give it a little, okay. We're in it, people. We are in it. Okay. Wow, oh, well, that's not as easy as you would think. They didn't make these little half cutouts. There we go. Come on now. There we go. I had to use my tiger voice. All right. Ooh, okay. So these are single serve K cups, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it doesn't even say it there, but these are not genuine K cups. So as we've seen before on this channel, each company can make a their own K cup. So they can choose to buy the K cups and package them themselves, or they could send them off to the Keurig gods and they can package them up themselves, or at least that's as much as I have come to know. Ooh, that's very interesting. So this bottom actually has some kind of plastic in there that's um, indicative of the genuine K cup where they have a second filter down there. Now I'm not sure if there is actually a second filter or if that's just 
Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. All right. So the coffee definitely, or the coffee, the cup actually matches the, 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 the box. You're going to see this and know you're, Ooh, look at that gold right there. That is bad to the ASS. Wow. Big thumbs up on that. It's the little things like that that make you go, okay, this company actually cares a little bit more. They didn't have to do that. They, that is so cool. All right. Yes. And they're all about the recycling. I love that. Okay. So this one is definitely poofy as we've seen before. Some are completely compressed in some are flat across the top and others are poofy. Very interesting. All right. Yes, people. Yes, people. All right. Coming up, we're going to throw this bad boy over to the K mini and brew up a hot cup of Java. Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, let's get into this brew test, people. Lively up, loving it. All right, we're going to be throwing this into my K Mini and brewing up a nice hot cup of Java. We are hoping for a very rich stream as that will tell us a little bit more about what is to come with said sip test. Of course, this being a K cup, I will be doing eight fluid ounces. That is the at home with Lucas standard now. Every single K cup that I review is eight fluid ounces. No more, no less. All right, let's get into this, people. Ah, ooh, yes. Being a dark roast, you should see it getting richer and richer as it pours. It's looking very, very rich, very nice. And I like how it is a very solid color. It's not watery here and there, or it's not changing tones. It's pretty much holding its own through and through. That is a beautiful stream right there. Wow, that is amazing. And of course, the aroma you cannot smell. I wish there was smell-o-vision. There is no smell-o-vision. Come on, 2022, bring the smell-o-vision. All right, yeah, the smell, the aroma is delectable let's go ahead and grab the Grand Canyon mug and slowly make our way to the little tiny office avoiding all the things that can break a heel break a foot and let's think about this sip test that's coming people let's ponder how delicious this is gonna be oh no he's on the edge ah Okay, so now we're gonna throw the thermometer into the mug and test the temperature. You wanna drink your coffee between 130 and 140. That is gonna give you the optimal sip and the optimal enjoyment. Believe it or not, if it's over 140, you're probably gonna burn your tongue and you're also gonna lose those flavor notes. So try this at home, put a thermometer in there, let it cool down to about 132 and enjoy a cup like never before. All right, let's get into this sip test, people. Woo, so excited. 
All right, the first thing I noticed is the aroma that came out of the K-Mini was intoxicating. It was beautiful, exactly what you'd want. I was completely blown away. Also loved the way the K-Cup or the, the single serve cup, we should call it, uh, went into the machine. It crushed down perfectly, punctured, everything sounded really, really nice. The fact that it was completely poofy on the top made a very nice air sound. It was like, so very good. Almost better than some genuine K-Cups who seem to have problems in that machine sometimes. Um, the look of this coffee is insanely luxurious. It's very rich, it's very nice looking. The, the aroma, everything about it so far is screaming quality. All right, enough jibber jabber. I think this is about 1.30 right now, so that's gonna be optimal for my taste buds. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. All right. Bitter, smoky, oily, um, a little bit fruity. Wow. That is a punch. It's a, but it hits you right in the middle of your mouth. It doesn't really hit your molars. It doesn't really hit um, the, your cheeks. It's kind of like straight down the middle. It's like a straight shot. Um, I'm getting a very airy, earthy sort of taste right now as the aftertaste. Wow, yeah, that is delectable. It's a little bit thick. It's on the medium side of thickness, uh, which is very fun. It goes straight down the tongue. You feel it going down. It's not light at all. Um, it's a very punchy um, sort of bitter smoky um, almost it doesn't really have that like sweet taste to it though so it's very much on the bitter side and then everything else kind of flows in it's got a maybe three or four different flavor notes all kind of flowing straight down the middle I want to say they're dancing around your mouth but they're not it's very straight down the middle very um, uh, unique uh, to this coffee right here I don't know if I've had this kind of blend before Yeah, yeah, so it's definitely on the bitter side. So if you're someone who likes a more sweet um, coffee, if you want that full body taste and you don't want that bitterness, uh, I would say avoid this one. Um, it's definitely got the quality that you want. It definitely has that like unique taste that you're gonna be hunting for this one again and not buy a different one because you're probably not gonna find this taste blend. This is very, very nice. It's very quality, and they definitely took their time to figure this out. This is not just something where they said, hey, go put your coffee into this K-cup and sell it to people with my name on it. You know, That's not what happened. This is definitely a quality controlled, <laughs> quality controlled blend, and somebody put the time and effort into this. Yeah, wow. Yeah, the oil and the oiliness is amazing. I, I'm finding that I like it more and more and the fact that it went through a filter in there means that either they used the right filter to allow some oils through or it's just an oily coffee that overpowered the, the filter. But yeah, that is a very delectable, very delicious cup of coffee. Um, yeah, it, it kind of just has that like bitter sting, we'll call it, that, that just kind of stays there and lets you know you're drinking coffee and it's not tea um, and it's, it's powerful. I would definitely drink this with something that is sweeter than normal. Um, so if you have like a, a treat of some sort that's overly sweet, drink this with it. It'll balance that out. You'll enjoy it tremendously. This is definitely a 4.5 star coffee um, for the Keurig. It's up there. It's a definitely an artisan roast. It has that that sort of unique blend to it that that lends itself to someone who actually cared about what they were doing. Um, so solid star rating. Very good coffee. 
Um, highly recommended. Daily consumption for me, no. I will have this throughout the day though. This will be my, ooh, I want something special, I want something unique, I want something different. Boom, I'm gonna throw that in, get a little boost, and get a going, people. So definitely a great cup of coffee, definitely unique, you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna stand above the rest. Buy it! All right, there you go. That's Lively Up Bob Marley Coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to collect that like button. If you wanna join the At Humble Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people just hit 2.5K. So thankful, so appreciative, but I need your help. Yes, I'm going to 3K. We're going to 3K. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube, they should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.